In all of the things that I've done on this channel, I never thought I would be doing one of these. But you know what? Here we go. 2021 NASCAR Xfinity Series Drivers Tier List. So, let's get uh, right into this in my opinion of each and every single driver. Yes, I will be talking about every single driver on this list. So to start off, we'll talk about uh, the tiers I have in uh, my own tier list. Well, technically it's not my own, I just added on words to each and every single tier. We got uh, Superb, Acceptable, Bleh, Crazy Bad, and Disappointment. So uh, let's start off and just go in order because that's much easier to do besides going uh, way out of whack. So we'll start off with Mike Snyder. Um, you know, I, I don't like Mike Snyder, but I don't really hate him. He's just kind of an ordinary driver. Uh, and I'm just going to put him in black because I wouldn't say he's bad, but I wouldn't say he's the best driver of the grid. There's certainly better drivers out there. I'm sorry, my Ed Snyder fans. I just realized that I'm going to anger every single, you know, fan who roots for one of these drivers on this list. Or maybe compliment their driver. I don't know. So, brace yourself. Alright, so next up, we have Bailey Curry. I believe Bailey Curry drives a 74. If I'm wrong on any of these, I'm sorry. I'm doing the best I possibly can. Bailey Curry, uh, you know what? I don't think Bailey is a disappointment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut him some slack. We'll put him in crazy bad. He's bad, but I don't think he's disappointing. So next up, we have the 17. I don't know who specifically drove this car. There's like backgrounds for each and every single one of these. So, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna put Rick Ware Racing as a disappointment. Rick Ware Racing is just a disappointing team on track and off track. If you just so much say a bad thing about them, they will attack you on social media. Like, I'm not even joking on that. And on track, you know, they don't really do anything. Now, next up, we have Brandon Jones. You know, I've actually grown to like Brandon over the last couple of years. I, I don't think he's a mediocre driver by any stretch of the imagination. You know, he's different than most Joe Gibbs Racing drivers, where he's not too aggressive, uh, but he's not like, I don't know. He's, he just doesn't match the Joe Gibbs Racing blend of drivers. He's not a vibrant personality. But he's not a bad personality. He's not a fan favorite. And I would probably argue that not a lot of people hate him too much. I mean, there's going to be haters for every one of these drivers here. But I think a lot of people have grown to respect him as his talent has blossomed. So you know what I'm getting at here. Brennan Jones is an okay driver. He's not great, but he's not bad. Alright, now we have Matt Mills. I also don't know much about Matt Mills, to be quite honest with you. They don't even talk about him on a broadcast, so... For how irrelevant he is, we're gonna put him as crazy bad. Jeb Burton. Now, I'm gonna have a lot of colleague bias here, because in case you didn't know, Justin Haley is my favorite driver. We'll talk about him later. Uh, so, what's my opinion on Jeb Burton? He is a, a superb driver now i'm gonna get attacked for saying this but yes he is a superb racing driver now just in case you're wondering i'm not gonna put all of colleague up in the top three that's not content all right now we have uh the Bassett brothers if i'm not mistaken ronnie and dylan Bassett. i also don't know too much about them so we're gonna say that they're awesome, because I feel bad that they don't even get to make a start this year. So they're acceptable. That opinion is going to quickly change as soon as they fail to qualify for Coda in May. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Jesse Awuji, but this could also be Stefan Parsons. So we're just going to put them together, and, you know, we're just going to say they're acceptable too. Alright, David Starr. David Starr is a disappointment. I'm, I'm not saying this because he crashed Noah Gregson out of the race at Homestead, Miami. 
this is blatant. He's just a disappointment. I'm, I've known David Starr even before he came here. Who remembers the Starcom days? Back when he was in the 99? Yeah, he wasn't that good. So, he's a disappointment. He goes in the Rookwear Racing tier. Alright, so next up we have the 23. I believe this is Jason White's paint scheme. It's got the pink and the blue. It's like A energy or something? Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, so, Jason White. I also don't know too much about Jason White. I just realized I don't really know a whole lot about a lot of these drivers on the list. I mean, some of them are really relevant, but the ones that are not, they're like super irrelevant. It's just polar opposite. So... For the sake of, of Jason White, we're going to say he's crazy bad. Because I don't know too much about him. And I'll cut him some slack. Alright, so this is Caesar Baccarella. Caesar Baccarella has an acceptable name. I mean, it's an awesome name. So we're going to put him in the acceptable tier. Uh, that name, it just rolls right off the tongue. Harrison Burton. Harrison is just the most marketable personality probably in the Xfinity Series album right now. He's got a great personality. He's got a lot of talent. And yes, I'm factoring a little bit of talent into this, not just complete bias. Uh, and, you know, he's just an all-out good Joe Gibbs racing driver. I never thought good and Joe Gibbs would go in the same sentence together. This is just my opinion. Joe Gibbs racing fans are obviously going to have a different one. But Harrison Burton just blends both of those perfectly. If I didn't have a favorite driver, Harrison Burton would be up in the top five of drivers that I would at least want to look out for. So Harrison Burton fans, I can see why you like him. Now he's not my all-out favorite driver, but he's definitely a superb racing driver to say the least in terms of talent and personality. Chris Cochran. I just kind of like his story, you know. I mean, he races his car and the sponsor is his literally his job he has a job like 95 percent of the year and then races the other five percent so that's that's a pretty cool story you know he's just a regular schmojo just like you and me watching this video unless you're a celebrity then hi uh but you know i would assume that most of you are random schmojos so chris cochran was just like us and he raced out there and he got a top 10 once i believe in 2019 so uh i like chris all right, so next up, we've got Ray Black Jr. Now, Ray, I just, I mean, I don't really know too much about him. So we're just going to say he's a blood driver. I think I've heard some negative things about him. I don't know if that's Ray. It might be somebody else. But we're just, we're just going to say he's black because I don't, I don't know too much about him. All right, so the 26th. There is another 26th here, which I'm pretty sure that one is Santino Ferrucci. We're going to say this is Brandon Jadovic. Jadovic? Jadovic? I don't know how to say it. Brandon Jadovic. Whatever. Um, yeah. Crazy bad. I, again, I don't know too much about him. From what I can tell from his driving talent, he's nothing special. So we're just going to put him there. Josh Berry. Now, the background is Miguel Paluto, but the man made like one start in the entirety of the season thus far at the time of this recording. So, I mean, I don't really know. And, I, and plus, I haven't even watched Miguel Pluto enough. I started watching NASCAR in 2015. So, that was a little bit before my time. Feel bad for the man. I'm not gonna say he's crazy bad, you know. And Jeffrey Earnhardt, he's, he's had a tough time. He's raced mediocre equipment. He's never had a big break. Okay, maybe he had a big break racing for Joe Gibbs Racing, and he really didn't do anything. But you know, that Joe Gibbs Racing ride is just as inconsistent as Red Bull Racing second ride in Formula One. So we're gonna cut him some slack. All right. So next up, we have the 61 of. Austin Hill? I think that's Austin Hill. I know somebody else raced it. Yeah, Robbie Lyons, the third or the second? I'm not going to include Robbie Lyons. He smashed into an ambulance. That's disrespectful. So we're going to put Austin Hill here. Yes, I know he's a truck series driver in an Xfinity series tier list. But hey, I can make the rules. This is my tier list. 
So we're going to make the rules and say that he is an Xfinity Series driver for some peculiar reason. Now, what's my opinion on Austin Hill? He's just... He's, he's just ordinary i mean he doesn't have a marketable personality i get he has talent i've just never appealed to austin hill to be quite honest with you and this is just going to be an honest slap in the face type of tier list all right so next up we have the 54 of ty dylan i never thought i'd be sitting here and talking about ty dylan in an xfinity series tier list but it's 2021 stranger things are gonna happen so ty dylan now, I know a lot of people hate Ty Dillon saying he's plastic spoon and he's not a good driver and such and such. But, you know, I just, I don't know. I, I kind of like Ty. I'm not going to say he's, he's bad. So we're just going to say he's a blood driver. There's nothing too special about him, but there's nothing too mediocre about him. He's driving a Joe Gibbs racing car. He's, yes, his talent is probably not up to par. But he's not going to go in this tier list or this tier list. As much as you'd like to put him in it, it he's going to go in the Mind Snyder tier list. He's on par with Mind Snyder. Uh, Brandon Brown is probably the same way. I don't like Brandon Brown, but I don't hate Brandon Brown. That's really the point of this, this medium tier list thing. Alright, so Gray Golding. I think a lot of people hate Gray Golding. I don't know. It's hard to keep up with NASCAR Connor controversies and fans opinions on a certain driver but this whole list is going to be kind of unbiased what who am i kidding this is completely biased here this is not unbiased by any stretch of the imagination uh gray golding uh gray golding is gonna go in the crazy batch list all right so next up we go to the number 23 of natalie decker I believe this is Natalie Decker. Um, if it's not, if it's Blaine Perkins or whoever owns the 23, the 23 car is basically a hot potato at this point. It's just being tossed around by so many different teams and so many different drivers. So for all intents and purposes, this is going to be Natalie Decker. What is my opinion on Natalie Decker? Um, I just, I don't know. She's a bad driver. She's got a good personality. I'll give that to her. That's the only thing keeping her away from being a disappointment. She's got a marketable personality. And if she hones in on her skills and she improves her talent, I think she's going to be a great driver for the future of NASCAR. I, 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 I mean, I'm just saying that. But that's a big if. That's only if she hones in on her talent. If she doesn't and she continues to drive the way she drives... Uh, I couldn't drive better, and I'm not saying that I could. I'm not a racing driver by any stretch of the imagination. But, you know, if she continues to do this, she's going to fall into obscurity and completely obfuscate her entire career. Alright, so next up, we have the 22 of Austin Cindric. I don't, I don't like Austin Cindric. I mean, oh, he's not bad. He's not bad. <laughs> Sorry, he's not bad. He's a black driver. Now, a lot of you might be saying, well, how come Austin Turnbrook is below guys like Chris Cockrum? They've got good personalities, all right? Those bad drivers that are kind of irrelevant on a weekly, you know, basis, you're going to have to really look at their personality, not their driving talent. Because, I mean, if we were doing this off of results, Austin Turnbrook would be the best driver to ever exist in NASCAR, card, and Josh Berry would probably just kind of be a mediocre driver. So... Austin Zendrick, I don't like his personality. It's bland. It's just not good. I, I don't like it. He's he's a stale personality, and I'm not holding that against him. I don't, you know, I'm not going to discriminate him based on his personality. He's got a lot of talent. He's great for the future of NASCAR. He's going to be in the Cup Series in 2022, which I'm very excited about because he's going to give the Cup drivers a run for their money. But it's just, I don't know. He's, he's not a marketable personality. He's great talent. And, I don't know. Plus, I am a Caller fan. Slash Hendrick fan. And that's kind of the opposite of Team Penske, if you're being quite honest. Alright, the 13th. Uh, Chad Fincham, I believe, is in the 13th car. You know what? He drives the 13, American Superstition. He's a disappointment. 44 of Tommy Joe Martins. 
Now, Tommy Joe is just the best driver to ever exist on NASCAR Twitter. If you go and follow him on Twitter, I mean, he's he is an absolute bomb. I mean, he is the best. So, just because of that, he's an acceptable driver. All right, Justin Allgaier. I, I mean, Justin is also a very acceptable driver. He doesn't have a bland personality, but he's not relatable, and that's kind of his Achilles heel. He's not a young talent. He's not a future prospect. He's not the future of NASCAR. He's an elder statesman, and in the Xfinity Series, a place where they have a wide plethora of young talent, he just doesn't fit in, and that doesn't make him relatable. And I'm sorry, that's not going to give him any points in the respects of, you know, being a superb track. Now, if you talked to me five years ago, six years ago, maybe I would put him in superb. But, you know, the more time goes on, and the more championships he chokes, which is another thing, he chokes all of his championship runs. I just, I mean, he's going to completely dwindle down. In five years' time, he's probably going to go in the crazy bad tails. That's all I'm saying. Or he's going to retire. Who knows? But, Justin Algar fans... I wouldn't bank on much. This is 2021 at the time of recording, so he's unacceptable. Alex LeBay. I like foreign racing drivers. It gives it a nice IndyCar, Formula One type feel to it. And yet, you know, NASCAR is kind of a lonely sport in some aspects. It's not. It doesn't have any relations with the FIA, which basically owns 90% of the motorsports world. So if you think about it, NASCAR is kind of a lonely sport. And to have an international driver kind of feels connected to the rest of the world, more relatable. And so Alex LeBay, props to him, we're going to put him in acceptable. I don't know why my mouse just passed me, it just did. The 54 of Ty Gibbs. I mean, I, I have nothing more to say. He's just a superb racing driver and a superb personality. Riley Herbst. Again, is it, is it really a question? The Monster Energy cars, I mean, they're, they're, they're literally no question. Riley Herbst is the epitome of a disappointment. You know what? He's, he's going to go close to disappointment. He's, he's going to go closer than Rick Ware Racing in the disappointment uh, tier. Because Riley Herbst has absolutely nothing in competitive equipment. His nickname, Terrible Herbst, has a lot of truth in it. And I don't want to insult him and completely, you know downgrade him, you know, as a person, but as a driver, he's, he's, he needs to get off the track. He just needs to get off the track. All right, Noah Gregson. Uh, Noah, Noah, Noah. You know, Noah's one of those guys where you, you, you cannot put him in the black tier. You can't put him in the acceptable tier, and you can't put him in the crazy bad tier. He's either a disappointment in your book or a superb racing driver, and... His personality, I mean, if if he can, you know, deliver and execute more races, he is he's, he's going to be a great driver. He's going to go in the back end of the superb tier, but, you know, Noah Gregson, great personality, just needs to garner better results. Then I will give him a lot more respect. And there is no such thing as an on-the-fence fan of Noah Gregson. You either like him, or you hate him. You either really like him, or you either really hate him. And I really like Noah Gregson. Jeremy Clements, he is, he's, he's also, he's the embodiment of bleh. Alright, Santino Ferrucci. Again, back to the thing I said about Alex LeBay, and how, you know, you feel more connected with the outside world. Not to say, you know, Santino Ferrucci is connected, like, meaning a foreigner. He was born in, like, Massachusetts. But, you know, he's from IndyCar. And that, you know, it gives him more of a motorsports-like feel to it. I don't know. It's like Jimmy Johnson in IndyCar, you know? IndyCar fans kind of feel more connected to NASCAR. And so, uh, we're going to say he's acceptable. All right. The 47, Kyle Weatherman. Besides being an awesome name for a weather person, which by the way, should be his occupation, not an, not a professional racing driver. Uh, he's just, he's, he's a crazy bad driver. So we're going to put him there. I think the same could be said for, uh, for Jesse Little. No offense to Jesse, but 
he's just, just there's nothing more to say you can't really say much about jesse level plus i don't really know much about his personality so he's just a crazy bad driver he's not gonna go in the american superstition slash rally herbs slash rick we're racing will attack you tier all right but he is he's, he's he's just a little bit above that michael annette is also the embodiment of a black driver he doesn't he doesn't even have a personality i mean that's not literal but so he's gonna go here who doesn't love a Jordan Anderson? I mean, you know, Jordan, he, there is no such thing as a Jordan Anderson hater. If you are a Jordan Anderson hater, why? I mean, that that's, that's my question. Why are you a Jordan Anderson hater? There is nothing to hate about Jordan. And I cannot wait until he makes his debut at Coda in May. Unfortunately, he's not going to be eligible for the playoffs, which is kind of a bummer. Maybe NASCAR will give him a waiver. I don't know. Colby Howard, he's a disappointment. I don't even know why he got his ride. All right, Ryan Sieg. Besides absolutely missing the dart on switching to manufacturers, which is not paid dividends. And I mean, Ryan Sieg is going to fall into obscurity because of that. It was probably the worst decision to ever leave the ECR engine alliance. ECR engines are by far the best engines to have down the Xfinity series. And I think really the only team that can do well with the Ford engines is Team Pepsi, but that's because they have a lot of money, ergo, a lot of resources. Ryan C doesn't have anything. Maybe he's just starting up, maybe he's he's just getting the you know, beginning of the season, you know, groans and he's not doing too well because he's just trying to get his mojo back. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, Ryan is just He's gonna go with with us. All right, Landon Castle. You you can't hate Landon. I mean, he's just he's 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 a great great racing driver. Uh, in terms of his talent, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for Landon that he never got com competitive equipment in the Cup Series, and maybe that was partially due to him. But I think a lot of you can agree that Landon probably deserves competitive equipment. I mean, imagine what Landon could do in JR. Imagine. I mean, we even saw a little bit of him back in the Hendrick Motorsports days in the late 2000s. I, I, I'm pretty sure Ryan was good. I, I, I don't know. Someone would have to correct me on that. I'd never watched NASCAR in that time. So, yeah. We've got a lot of back drivers. I have a lot of neutral feelings towards a lot of drivers. That's intriguing. But, uh... We're going to move on to the next one. The 03. Who even is in the 03? Andy Lally? Alright. I don't even know too much about him. So, the I don't even know too much about here is a crazy fact here. The 48. Who drove the beginning of the season race? That's Oh yeah, it was uh, Danny Bone. Again, I don't know too much about him. I don't know too much about Josh Williams. I don't know too much about uh, Jay Bud Buford. Buffered. Daniel Hemmer. Now, this is definitely going to be a hot take. I honestly don't really hate Daniel Hemmer that much. He's, he's just an ordinary driver, alright? I don't like him. You know, like, he's the best driver to ever exist. I'm not a fan of Daniel Hemmer. He's not somebody that I, you know, like. But he's just not an acceptable driver. He's not any one of these guys. He's just a black driver. If he starts winning and stops pulling a Mark Martin in terms of races, then, you know, he's probably going to be an acceptable driver. Once I see the backflip, maybe my opinion will change. Who knows? But uh, for now, he's just an ordinary, neutral driver. Who even is in the 91? I, I, I completely forgot who this is. Uh, you know what? I don't like the number 91, so we're gonna we're gonna say that's a disappointment. My favorite number is 24. As you can probably already tell. So that's far from 91. Um, that's like what 60 numbers away. So yeah, disappointment. Ryan Vargas. I mean, yeah. Again, back to the thing I said. Wow, I must really, really like JD Motorsports and Joe Gibbs Racing. This is eye-opening. 
and JRM. This is definitely eye-opening. I never thought that I like so many Joe Gibbs Racing drivers and so many JD Motorsports drivers. I'm banking a lot on the personality. That's prob probably why, but uh, you know what? We're, we're, we're still going to go with this. All right. Timmy, Tim I, Hill. Tim I is a superb racing driver. In terms of personality, and in terms of racing, you know, he does all he can to garner good results. I'll advocate for Timmy. So, uh, he's, he's, he's gonna, he's gonna go here. Alright, Brett Moffat. I mean, what even is there to like about Brett Moffat? He's just an ordinary driver. I mean, he literally gets good results, sure. His personality is just black. He's not... You know, someone where it's like, oh look, there's Brett Moffat. You don't you don't see fans saying, oh look, there's Brett Moffat, but you don't see fans saying, oh, it's Brett Moffat. You know, that's it's a pretty bad driver. You just kinda see fans saying, oh, there's there's Brett Moffat just running around there in the top fifteen. And then Justin Haley and um AJ Allmendinger. Obviously superb racing drivers. Look, I get it. I'm a Call of fan. I'm a I'm going to have a lot of colleague bias here, but, you know, I know a lot of people who like colleague racing, even besides that, um, you know, I know a lot of people who, you know, like colleague racing, and they even come from other teams, like Joe Gibbs Racing, so, colleague's a pretty good team, AJ Allmendinger, I've been watching Allmendinger for a while now, I've watched him since he was in the Cup Series, back in the 47, remember those days? And, uh, H.A. was just a pretty good guy. He's got a great personality, I'm not even gonna lie. He's an elder statesman, but, you know, he he's relatable for some reason. He does what Justin Aguirre does. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. And Justin Haley, I've been watching his, his career ever since he came up into the truck series. And I've watched his rise in a NASCAR. And, uh, hopefully he gets a cup series ride. Looks like to me that Kaz Gorilla can be in contention to do that. And so there you go. This is the official news tier list. 2021 NASCAR Xfinity Series drivers. Let me know if you agree with any of these. Let me know if you disagree with any of these. I can't wait to see the comments on this video. But until next time, this has been the news. I'll see ya. Actually, never mind. This is the news again for the last time. Uh, I'm sorry that this video was excruciatingly long. So hope you enjoyed. But what I meant to say at the end of the video, no end screen, by the way, I'm not going to be doing an end screen, uh, but I will be going to Kansas Speedway this week. In fact, I'm only going to be going to the ARCA and truck race, not the cup race. Uh, but still, I will have a vlog of that. So yeah, first vlog on the channel. And uh, I do hope you enjoy that. It's going to be coming shortly, probably before the cup race, maybe after. Who knows? We'll see. And for real this time, this has been the news. I'll see ya.